Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, how are you doing? You all right? So this is a time to learn some English. I have decided to share with you the basic knowledge of language. You know, there are a lot of basic terminologies which you might listen around, you know, you, you might hear people saying about these uh, terminologies. So let me tell you, uh, uh, one of them today is morpheme. Morpheme. What is morpheme in English language? Because you are English language learner, you want to improve your knowledge, you want to improve your spoken English, you are aiming at different things to, you know, to, to work, to improve, to learn. So anyway, morpheme, we would like to talk about it. Uh, we have to discuss different things in different videos. We have to learn about morpheme, phoneme, uh, phrases, clauses. These are all basic terminologies of, uh, you know, in the language learning. So today's morpheme, a morpheme is a word which we use in English language. Uh, that means a smallest unit of language. It's the smallest part of a language unit. Unit could be even one letter morpheme. Could be one letter. We'll see the example, but could be one letter, could be more than one. Uh, you know, that expresses meanings. And this small letter or a group of some letters, a unit, unit means group. So group or unit, of some letters or maybe one letter this is smallest that has two things expresses meanings that expresses some kind of meanings or serves a grammatical function sometimes no meaning but it serves the grammatical uh, function for example you know even one word uh, like uh, train train is is one morpheme like a one word you know this is smallest at the moment we cannot separate anything and get something uh, when we say trained train plus d, trained so it is one morpheme and this is another morpheme a train and trained two morphemes here in this and also two syllables but we'll discuss what's the difference but train now um for example other word uh train trainers see train ours now three morphemes here one is train itself then our our what does our mean no meaning no meaning so expresses meaning no no not this one this is second one serves a grammatical function our is a grammar you know when you add our regular reader writer our 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 it it makes a grammar it, it gives us a grammatical function so this is one morpheme r is one morpheme s s what does s mean s doesn't mean you know here nothing trainers but s, s, s sounds is one morpheme smallest unit it serves a grammatical function that we add s we get plural forms of something you know uh, or we get uh, in present tense we add s we have the grammar there for present tense he goes she plays plays s plays one word and if we say where's a morpheme morpheme is s, s is one morpheme smallest one so smallest a unit that serves a grammatical purpose is called uh, morphine so s is now morphine here r is like a morph morphine here smallest unit of a word i hope you understand this is the basic uh, knowledge and understanding about morphine in english language for english language learners i'll see you in the next video with another new word new term for english language take good care bye bye